Well, let's hear from a farmer, will we? I think it's time we, we heard from a farmer. Uh, Edward Ouko, Ouko is a small holder uh, in Kenya. Uh, he's also coordinator of a community project on sustainable food production. And we've asked him to talk a bit about food security and climate change and what it means to farmers on the ground. I'm Eddie Uko. I'm a farmer who has who is coming from Kisumu, which is in Kenya, Western Kenya province. I plant different types of crops. One of them is sorghum, maize, beans, water, water lemon, butternuts, onions, and also green grass. I'm food secure. I'm food secure in that I have enough to sell and I have enough to eat for the whole year. Now, through all this, I managed to sustain my life better. Now, the excess produce which I get from the farm, I sell them and the sales from the products, I take my children to schools. And we also have a very harmonious life because we live together. Food security means that food insecurity means that you don't have enough to eat. You walk and here and there going searching for food. Other people also even go and work in other people's farm so that they could also get enough something to eat. It has also even separated the families whereby you find that the couples sometimes they work for other people to be paid so that they got enough food, enough food. Children are also even dropping from school. Prices of the commodities are all very expensive. If you go to the market, the supply is not there because the market is not supplied enough with some good commodities. So we are encouraging the farmers, I as a farmer, to be a role model so that we work on this to not get enough food for our community. Climate change is a critical issue in this our society. Everyone now understands what climate change is. Because the production of what we used to have has really declined. The fruits which we used to have, some of them they are not there. Birds which used to also be there have migrated to the other areas. Crop which we used to even to harvest have now no longer used because the rainfall pattern has really changed. Now there are some other approaches which we are now trying to use so that we can address the issue of climate change. One of them is water harvesting, whereby we can also even store water for future use. We also have to plant the early maturing crops which can also go with the rainfall pattern. We are also trying to plant the type of the trees like rapid mangoes which can take a very short time to be harvested. Also, we plant the crops which are also disease free, which can also not be affected with the uh, rainfall pattern or the issue of the climate change. So through this, we are now planning to have reduce the lifespan of the crops by adoption of new technology, which is really helping the farmer to improve their life. Another way through which we use to help in the climate change is by planting the trees. We plant these trees which are also adaptable to this type of climate. The trees we plant so that they can also attract rainfall. We can also even use them for building houses in the future. We can also even plant the fruit trees which we can also even get fruits in the future. The trees also protect the, the, the farms, that is, they, are, they act as crop covers. They also, even uh, in conserving soil conservation in our farms, they also even beautify the environment. So trees is, is, a, is a wonderful project. 
climate change needs a combined teamwork. This is by farmers, other stakeholders, other partner organizations, scientists, and other partners. Now to the farmers. Farmers should also be supported through new inventions of new technologies which can change their lifestyle. Farmers should also be guided on very particular diseases which can also even affect their crops. Scientists should come become on board. Other partners like the government ministries need also to expose the farmers to see more new technologies on what they can also achieve and also change their lifestyle. And the Europe countries need also to come up with new technologies which are also achievable and also some other technical uh, machineries which can also save the farmers from tedious work.